Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for standing up to my ex's new girlfriend after she confronted me about our past. So I, 28F, used to date my ex, H 29M, for all of middle school, high school and college. I was convinced we'd be together forever, growing old with kids and grandkids. We still love each other but we broke up six years ago. It was a mutual decision because we knew it was for the best. We just moved into our first apartment when I found out I was pregnant. We were 22 and completely freaked out, but decided to make it work. The nursery was almost ready when I lost her at 25 weeks. I don't talk about it much, and neither does H. We tried to keep things together after that, but it was too much, and we split up. Losing our daughter pulled us apart, and we didn't know how to fix it, so we let each other go. H still sends me flowers on Mother's Day, and I send him a card on Father's Day. We even call each other on her birthday every year. Since we went to college together we share some mutual friends, so running into him at parties is not rare. I saw H with his new girlfriend at a friend's birthday dinner. She acted weirdly rude to me the whole time, which was odd since I'd never met her. Apparently, H mentioned that he and I used to date, but didn't go into details since they hadn't been together long, and he wasn't ready to share everything. Later, she cornered me in the bathroom and told me she didn't like how close I was to H. She said six years was enough time to get over him, and that it was ridiculous how desperate I seemed to get him back when he clearly wasn't interested. I was already fed up with her attitude all night, so I told her the baggage she wanted me to get over was our child and that H would probably never get over her either. I added that her insecurity wasn't my problem, and if she wanted to be with H, she'd have to deal with me because I was not going anywhere. She got super red-faced and left the bathroom. When I came out later, both she and H were gone. I told a mutual friend what happened, and he thinks I was an off for saying all that. He said she didn't know the whole story and reacted like any woman would if she thought someone was hitting on her boyfriend. He says I should have been more considerate of her, not knowing the situation. If I went too far, I'm ready to apologize. Just trying to figure out if I crossed the line here. Eda Info I do love H, but I am not in love with him. There is nothing romantic about our feelings for each other. I've known the man my whole life, he was my child's father and best friend, I will always care for him. I have no idea why she thought I wanted him back. I'm not interested in being any more than what he and I already are to one another. I've been in therapy. So has he. Both therapists have zero problems with the way the two of us go about remembering our daughter. I told a friend about it because it happened at his birthday dinner, and it was clear to everyone at the party that something had occurred. Edit number two. I will reiterate again that I am not in love with H, I don't want him back. I'm currently engaged. I didn't mention that in the op because I already stated that my relationship with H isn't romantic. I didn't yell at her. I spoke to her at an average volume. I rarely talk to H outside of the one phone call a year. We don't interact much when I see him because of our mutual friends. So I truly, and honestly, do not know why she felt the way she did. Edit number three. This post wasn't technically about the loss of my daughter, so I didn't go into all of the details, but no, it was not a miscarriage. I went into her labor and she died an hour after she was born. So yes, she has a birthday. Yes, she was our child, not a fetus we lost. Update Hi, I thought I'd update you guys on the situation since it's more or less over now. I was able to call H and talk to him about what happened. I started apologizing for telling his girlfriend about our daughter before he could share that with her. Still, he told me I didn't need to be sorry. They had left the party early because apparently, everyone had heard her going off on me in the bathroom. They didn't hear my response, but when she came out looking red, they assumed that I had, at the very least, said something back to her that hurt her feelings. H and the girlfriend started arguing, and he thought it was best not to disrupt the party further. He didn't know how to discuss the situation with me after she told him the whole story, because he figured I would be hurt and upset about the entire thing. I wanted to know why she thought I might have been trying to get him back when we've been separated for six years and I'm engaged to someone else, so I asked him if he knew. 
He admitted that before I got to the party that night, as he and his girlfriend were coming in, someone brought up my engagement, and then another person said something about how they had never imagined that H and I would have ended up with anyone but one another. H said he just pretended not to hear the conversation. Still, I guess his not immediately shutting it down upset his girlfriend. I've always been a sore spot for her since H told her that he and I had been together for so long, so I guess that just made it worse. The two of them have broken up now though. Which I feel a little bad about. I want H to be happy, and never want to intervene in his relationships. He assured me that he doesn't blame me for it or anything, so that did help me feel a little less guilty. I do want to thank all of you who expressed condolences. You're all so kind, and I wish I'd been able to respond to you individually, I just had a lot going on. I appreciate everyone's feedback, too, it was beneficial. And yes, I later informed my friend that most women don't get weirdly jealous and react like that. Comment Anonymous She had no business approaching you. Her relationship is with your ex. She should discuss any concerns about his relationship with you with him and leave you out of it. Your mutual friend's attitude is strange. No, any woman would not approach an ex at a party and create drama. That's not what average women do. When we hold outsiders accountable for our relationships, we prefer to hear things we may not want to hear. That's the situation this woman created for herself. He didn't say anything unexpected or over the top. Her choice is to continue dating your ex or not. You're not involved in any way. He is the only person responsible for his relationship with this other woman. Animal Lover, 38 also, all opted was show up to a mutual friends party. Ike where the mutual friend got the going after your ex part of this from. Unless H still talks about op as if he's still in love with her, that would be an H issue, not an op issue. Throwaway Hater 3343 Kinda curious about where the new girlfriend got this from. And why the friend defended the new girlfriend. Is there something about her behavior that op is not telling us? Info needed. Eda Prop edits, if she hadn't had any weird interactions with H at the party, then definitely in TA. I'm curious about just what H told the new girlfriend. Some people get crazily rabid about exes, and they usually aren't worth the time. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.